Hello, today we're going to learn how to make a low poly shield and blender. So the first thing I'm going to do is add screencast keys so you know what hotkeys I'm using. And I want to start off by deleting uh, both the camera and the light. So I want to scale this on every axis except the Z. And I want to move this over there. I want to go into edit mode and actually let's scale this on the Z a little bit more. And I want you to do a small extrusion over here. Really small, really subtle. This will be kind of like the indent, I guess you can call it, call it, of the wood. And we want to select these two faces and make an inset face and scale this on the X. Make sure it's really subtle. I'm actually going to move this over here a little bit more and now what we want to do is to create an array so let's set this to zero and let's set this to one and let's add a lot um, that seems to be to look good so let's move this a little bit over here and now I want to create a cylinder it's going to be 16 vertices instead of 32. I guess you can go with 8 or something different if you wish. And we want to rotate this on the Y 90 degrees. And I want to select, uh, press slash so we only work on, so we can only see the cylinder. I'm going to scale this on the X. I'm going to edit mode, create a loop cut. And we are going to do an, uh, another loop cut over here and before we do that um, we actually want to delete all these faces because we're going to use the mirror modifier so let's choose mirror on the Z axis and let's grab this face that we did before add clipping make sure you have clipping enabled Let's move this back here and let's delete. Okay. So once we're done with that, let's uh, press slash again so we can see our um, board. This will be like the border of the shield. So now what we're going to do is, well, first of all, let's apply this and let's also apply the array and we want to do uh, shift all shift alt c origin to geometry and let's rotate this a little bit on the x so it looks a bit nicer maybe not uh, so much no, like that is okay and we want to do a boolean now so we cut out uh, this piece over here so let's select uh, the, the cube and let's add difference and let's make sure this is the boolean we want and it's not sorry I got confused so let's select the cube add modifier boolean and let's select uh, the, the circle so to do that let's go back into solid And we want difference. So now if we go into array and to wireframe view, sorry, you'll see that we're kind of like cutting out this piece. It's not very visible right now, but you'll see it in a second. So what we want to do is apply. And now let's go back into solid view, go into edit mode. And if we hide this, you'll see like we cut out all this area. Okay. So now what we want to do is let's select with L key all these pieces over here. And we want to delete them. So there we go. And now let's unhide the cylinder. And now we have pretty much our base for the shield. So I do want to make this a bit smaller and 
let's select the slip cuts and scale on the X just like that maybe not so much that seems to look okay so now we can even add more details if we wanted to so let's go into edit mode on the cylinder and let's create another cylinder and this time it will be let's do eight vertices so let's scale this down quite a bit rotate this on the y 90 degrees and let's move this up here and it seems like it's still a bit too big so let's scale this down and now what we want to do is to press p by selection and let's select that new cylinder and we want a modifier we want the mirror modifier and now what we want to do is rotate this on so shift d rotate this on the x uh, 90 degrees and let's press apply let's do the same for this and let's make it one single object with Control j and now we want to duplicate this once more and we want to rotate this on the x 45 degrees so as you can see this looks pretty cool and now one other thing we can do is add a handle so to do that i want to create a cube make it smaller and let's scale this on the y and let's go into edit mode so I want to make two loop cuts, scale on the Y, so we move them towards like the edge, like to these faces. And let's create two more loop cuts. And we want to do this because now I want to select this face, this face over here, and I want to move this back. So we have like a space for the person to handle it, whoever is going to use the shield. So let's scale this on the Z and I want to grab these edges and scale on the Y. Unselect. Let's unselect these. Let's actually control Z. We did not want to do that messing up the geometry a little bit so let's just select those vertices over there well and that seems to look okay and if we go into this object over here we can do like small indents which look really nice so let's go into uh, let's get the knife tool mode on Okay, first of all, what we have to do is let's remove doubles. Seems to have problems with that, and we actually removed 66 vertices. So that was pretty nice. So let's do this again. And now we can delete these faces. We can do J. Ooh. We didn't want that F. And we can make new faces with the fill in tool. And that was pretty small. We can make some bigger ones. You can make as many as you want. It looks really nice. Did I remove any other? No, I did not. I thought I actually removed more vertices than I wanted to. So actually we did, we removed this face. My bad. And we can of course do some like in the face. So let's do that small hole 
and actually before we keep going let's select these two vertices press J and these other two vertices and press J and I'll just grab well actually it did not okay so we have a problem here so let's delete these faces And now what we want to do is, hmm, let's do control R. And let's do an extrusion on the X, no, on the Y. So these are a bit harder to make as you can see, but they, they'll still look pretty cool. You know what you want to do is just move this back. You can also do it on the metal to give it some nicer results. So let's just do one. Actually, before we keep going, let's remove doubles. Well, I guess we didn't have any. I thought we would have some with the mirror modifier. Guess not. So I guess we can do one over here. Actually, no, let's do it in the exterior area. So it looks more realistic, I guess, even if it's even if it's still poly. Oops, we wanted to delete faces, not edges. Sorry about that. And I guess we can make another one. Just do a low one over down here. Let's make it bigger. Oops. So there we go. So we can also make some materials now. You can just choose whatever colors you want. I want you to work on that now for the thumbnail. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. So see you in the next one. Bye.